Right. Well, hello to each and every one of you, uh, whether it's good evening, good afternoon, good morning or good night. It's very good to be with you, even though we can't see you. So I'm going to sing you some songs and uh, hope you enjoy them. It's a lot of miles I've traveled. Now I've just a few to go before the time home again, where the silver Shannon flows. So spoke Christy Parrell, the old man of the sea. Thirty years on the merchant ships, a long ways from Lochree. I've been around this great big world, all on its seven seas. Often spent the night on deck, just listening to the breeze. I've seen the red sun rising over Fuji's silver crown and seen the same sun dipping down over smoky New York town. I've often watched the smiling moon rolling over Lebanon, seen shooting stars come showering down to the harbour of Hong Kong. I've seen the northern lights up there in the Arctic's frozen waste. And once I sailed around the horn where them clipper ships did race. We followed shoals of flying fish while I've been off Africa's shore. Marveled at the coral reef where them giant waves even roar. I've seen the southern cross at night as bright as bright can be reflecting like some milky pearls upon down on the seas. I've seen the giant liners with their lights all shining bright, sparkling like some diamonds in the velvet black of night. I've seen the ocean sparkle with the lightning in a storm. And yes, I've heard the mermaid sing in the silvery light of dawn. It's a lot of miles I've traveled now I just a few to go before the time I'm home again, where the silver Shannon flows. So spoke Christy Farrell, the old man of the sea. Thirty years on the merchant ships, a long ways from Lochree. Thirty years on the merchant ships, a long ways from Lochree. A long ways from Lochree. 
That's a song written by the late, uh, but very great, Graham Miles. Uh, Graham's written some tremendous songs. Uh, I'll be doing one or two more during this session. Uh, that was called The Old Man of the Sea. Not that uh, it's anything to do with me. I, I have never been to the sea, well, been on the sea, but never been to the sea as an old, but as an old man, I may have done. So anyway, this song goes back many, many years, uh, back to the early 1960s when I was in Australia. And a lot of people were emigrating to Australia in those early days, and quite rightly too, um, great country. And uh, they were bringing the songs with them, the folk songs from the different uh, parts of the country. And this particular, there were always these singing sessions going on at parties. And I remember hearing this song for the first time and just falling in love with it, just called I Drew My Ship. I drew my ship into the harbor. I drew it close where my love lay. I drew it close, fine to her window to listen to what my love did say. Who's there, who's there, close at my window, who knocks so loud and would come in? It is your true love who loves you dearly. So rise, my love, and let me in. Well, slowly, slowly, God, she are. And slowly, slowly came she down. But before she got her door unlocked, her own true love had come and gone. He's brisk and broad, he's far away, he's far beyond the raging main, where fish is dancing and bright eyes glancing have made him quiet. Forget his home. I drew my ship. Uh, as I say, a song from England. Uh, just a great song, a joy to sing. Um, on to an Australian song now, a shearing song. And of course, shearing was, uh, and still is, one of the most important industries in Australia. And in the old days, of course, the sheep were shorn by the blade shears, which were the ones you had to clip with your hands, manipulate with your hands. Whereas nowadays, the modern uh, machines uh, are powered by electricity. And uh, it was very important in the early days to shear at least 100 sheep a day to get the century. And if you didn't shear 100 sheep a day, 
he weren't regarded much of a shearer. And the world record for shearing sheep was created by a bloke by the name of Jackie Howe, who is remembered they have these uh, blue singlets now called uh, Jackie Howe singlets, uh, which the shearers wear. And uh, in 1891, I think it was, or 92, I'm not sure, uh, he shore 321 sheep in eight hours and 20 minutes, which was quite a remarkable effort, considering he was using the blade, the blade shears. And apparently he spent uh, two weeks in hospital after, and so did the sheep. So this song is called Another Fall of Rain. <laughs> Now the weather had been so tree for a fortnight's time or more. The shearers had been driving my name. For summer got the century, we'd never done it before. And now all hands are waiting the rain and the boss is getting rusty and the ringers caving in for his bandage wrist is aching with the pain and the second man of fear will make it hard for him Unless we get another fall of rain. Now some had taken quarters and were coiling in their punks. When we show the six to weathers from the plain. And if the sheep get harder, well, a few more men will come, unless we get another fall of rain. Well, the sky is clouding over, the thunder's muttering low, the clouds are heading eastward o'er the plain and i see a flash of lightning from the edge of yon black cloud you hear the gentle patter of the rain so let's put on your stoppers let us to the heart we'll gather round and have a friendly game while some are playing music and some play and see and some are gazing outward at the rain Well, now the rain is over, let the presses spin the screws. Let the teamsters back the wagons in again. And we'll pull up the class's table by the way we push them through. For everyone is merry since the rain. And the bossy won't be rusty when it's sheep they all are shorn. The 
bringers risk all night much with the pain of pocketing his check for a fifty pound or more. The second man will press him hard again. Let the boss bring out the bottle and we'll wet the final flop. Some of us may not meet here again, and some may meet next season, some not even then, and some of us will vanish like the rain and some of us will vanish like the so another fall of rain and let's hope that we don't have another fall of rain or another storm like Eunice which has forced me not to come up to sunny Whitby which I'm very disappointed about I'm a great admirer of one of Australia's uh, best known poets, a bloke by the name of Henry Lawson, who was born in the 1860s and died in the 1920s. And he had a turbulent life, mostly through his own wishes. Uh, he had a passion for ladies and also a passion for beer. And he said, drinking beer makes you feel the way you ought to feel without drinking beer, which has got a lot of logic to it. And in 1900, he and his wife at the time, uh, Bertha, had decided to come across to England, uh, 1900, and spend two years here trying to uh, get his poetry stories uh, published and uh, get sort of pushed on. Uh, but the marriage wasn't really working very well. And two, two months before they were due to head back to Australia, Bertha set off on her own. And two months later, Lawson followed. And of course, the liner that uh, he went back on would have stopped at all the different ports on the way back to Australia. And one of the ports was Genoa in Italy. And just reading through the lines of the poem, uh, he had a brief passionate affair with this young lady from Genoa. So he wrote this poem called Genoa, and I thought, well, they can do a song. So mm -hmm. wrote this tune for it, just called Genoa. Oh, a long farewell to Genova that rises to the skies where the barren coast of Italy like our own coastline lies. Oh, a sad farewell to Genoa. Long my heart will grieve. The only city in the world that I was loath to leave. Oh, she was fair in Genoa, she was very kind. Those pale blue seeming eyes that seem most beautifully blind. But they are sad in Genoa, why I cannot 
I had the three Italian words, but she knew very well. All love is cheap in Genoa. Love and wine is cheap. Neither leaves and aching dead, nor cuts the heart to deep. Save when the knife goes straight, and then there's little time to grieve. The only city in the world that I once loved to be. I've said farewell to tinted days, glorious starry nights. I've said farewell to Naples with straight long lines of light, but it is not for Naples, but for Genoa I grieve, the only city in the world that I was not to leave. Genoa, um, as I say, a set of words written by Henry Lawson. Um, I'm now going to sing uh, another Australian song, which I've known for many, many years, and it always gives me great joy to sing. It's just called The Reading Lagoon. I'm just going to have a slurp before. Oh, yeah, lovely. The sweet-scented wattle sheds perfume around, enticing the bird and the bee. And I'm lying full length on the fern-covered ground in the shade of a carajong tree. And far overhead I can hear the sweet strain Of the butcher bird singing her tune For spring in her splendor has come once again To the banks of the reedy lagoon my swag I have carried for many a mile. My boots are worn out at the toes. And my dress of the season is a far different style to my dress of last season, God knows. My cooking utensils, I'm sorry to say, consist of a knife, fork and spoon. But there's far beef and tea in the battered jack shay on the banks of the reedy lagoon. There was Jackie the breaker and couldn't he ride and Percy the hard working boy and Henry of late who was taken a bride glad Benedict life to endure. And Big Jock the Stockman, I once heard him say, 
He could wrestle the famous Muldoon, but they're far, far away, and I'm lonely today on the banks of the reedy lagoon. Oh, where is the young girl whose green eyes shone? I often have kissed and caressed. She's sleeping tonight in a far distant home with her head on another man's breast. She said she'd be true and that she'd wait for me. It's sad that such things have to be and it's hard to keep square when she doesn't care on the banks of the reedy lagoon. Yeah, just a simple song, reedy lagoon, but a great song. And as, as with all these songs, I really enjoy singing them. These next two songs written by two very good friends of ours. The first, uh, Mike O'Connor, and Mike lives down in Cornwall. And uh, he suddenly sent me this song with no warning at all. And it's about my experiences of going to Australia. I went out to Australia in the uh, 1960s when I was a young lad, which was not that long ago. And uh, I went to work on a sheep and cattle station, a place, place called Emu Springs in South Australia near the country town of Tintinara. And Mike's written this song about my experiences of going there. Tintinara is just a small country town on the way from Melbourne up to Adelaide. And Tintinara, I find this fascinating, is an Aboriginal word for the stars in Orion's belt. And Orion is the only constellation that you can see in the Southern Hemisphere and the Northern Hemisphere. And the liner that I went out to Australia on was called the Orion. So quite a lot of coincidences here. Away to Tintinara. It's a way to Tintinara and miles to Emu Springs. Start again. It's a way to Tintinara and miles to Emu Springs and the rocky road to go there. The song the drover sings, it's a hundred miles from Adelaide. The overlander rolls and a dusty road to sunrise. Where open bushland calls and the music on the wind is the creaking of the saddle and the rhythm of the song are the hooves upon the ground where the fences run forever to the dusty blue horizon and like gems on distant velvet Stars echo to the sound. Call me back. There's a lonely crossroad beckons to blue remembered hills and along the sands of sugarloaf. Where live birds dance and sings on the sunlit plains of yesteryear. Where live birds dance and sing are the echo of the voices. The bushman's songs will sing and the music on the wind 
is the creaking of the saddle and the rhythm of the song are the hooves upon the ground where the fences run forever to the dusty blue horizon and like gems on distant velvet stars echo to the sound pull me back and around the bush you're dreaming you know that she'll be right and around the billy boiling the stories last the night for there's room enough to breathe here and space to be your own and to sing again the old songs and watch the sun go down and the music on the wind is the creaking of the saddle and the rhythm of the song are the hooves upon the ground where the fences run forever to the dusty blue horizon and like gems on distant velvet stars echo to the ground well, I do apologise, Mike, for making a few mistakes in that, but I just uh, was so drawn back in that. I was remembering the time that Danny, my lovely wife, and I were on tour in Australia, and uh, we pulled in, we were going from Melbourne up to Adelaide, and we pulled into. Tintinara uh, a late afternoon because I thought we'd stay there just for memory's sake and uh, we uh, we went into the hotel which was a, a trade description act wrong I think because not really a hotel but a place to stay and uh, I said to the bloke uh, uh, the manager there I said look and it's 50 years since I was last here and he said why is that and I said well I was a jackaroo I was at uh, Emu Springs, and he said, oh yeah, I'll go and get them on the phone for you. And he went out and he, he got them on the phone and we we're talking to them and they said, well, come out tomorrow. And we had time because uh, the next booking was a couple of days away. So uh, da Danny and I went out the next day, drove out to uh, Emu Springs, which is quite a fair few miles and there's no roads. It's just a dusty dirt track. And we went past this lonely bush road crossing, which Mike mentions in the song. And there was a lady standing there with a suitcase and nothing else. I went just bush and there's, uh, and she said, oh, I'm, I'm waiting for a lift. Uh, and she said, are you going out to see uh, the, the Emu Springs people? And we said, yeah. So we went out there. And the great thing about it was the lovely people who, it was a different, uh, owners now and have been reduced from 30,000 acres down to 12,000 acres but uh, we had a good look round, and I promise you things hadn't changed at all in the 50 years since I was last there so this is uh, another song about my experiences there and of course it was whilst I was on the uh, station that I heard the old uh, station hands singing the old, old Australian songs. I mean, nothing really uh, uh, unknown, but mostly known like uh, Click Go The Shears and those sort of songs, Wild Colonial Boy, those sort of songs. And when I heard them, I just fell in love with them. That's the songs. And uh, I just decided that I want to learn more about them, where they came from and sing them. And uh, a jackaroo is someone who goes to work on a station sheep and cattle station and you learn all the different trades about looking after sheep looking after cattle etc management and everything like that and after a certain amount of time 
uh, you then become qualified to go and manage some other station. It's like, a, like an apprenticeship. And uh, this song was written by a good friend again, uh, Mike Silver, who lives down in Cornwall as well. And uh, the song is just called Jackaroo. The time has come to make a move. My heart is not at ease. A world away is beckoning. The places that I want to see. So I'll take a chance and give it a try who knows just what i will find will it be nothing or will it be gold i'll know the answer in time the cold wind is blowing down rainy streets in the city where I first sang And the England that I know so well Is changing for every man So I'll take a chance and give it a try Who knows just what I Will it be nothing or will it be gold? I'll know the answer in time. Gone for a jackaroo, ma. Gone for a jackaroo. Learn every trade till me bones are made. I'll be a jackaroo. Across the Mediterranean. Down Suez to Old Bombay All through the Tropic of Capricorn To Australia I'm making my way To work, toil and ride To drove and to shear Come home by the light of the stars. Toil, rain, and shine, just like all my mates. What more could a young man ask? Gone for a jackaroo. Gone for a jackaroo Learn every trade till me bones are made I'll be a jackaroo to the old man singing around the open blades. Learn all the songs and the tunes I hear to ease my working day. And when the sun is sinking low, I'll write you a line or two. Did you ever think when I was born, I'd be a 
Silver. Um, this next song is an old traditional song from Sussex, England, and came from the singing of a lady by the name of Mrs. Verrill near Horsham and uh, was collected. Just going to have another slurp by Vaughan Williams in uh, 1911. On the 28th of July, 20 past three in the afternoon. Fare thee well, my dearest dear. Fare thee well at you. For I must go to sea for the sake of you. Love pair a patient heart, for you must play the part, and think on me while I am far away. You'll have silver and fine gold. Houses and land, what more could you desire, love, don't complain. And jewels to your hand, and maids at your command. But you must think on me. While I am gone, oh, your gold shall be as dust, and your house is too. I've got this all totally wrong. Sorry, I'm going to have to abandon that. This does happen. <laughs> These things, uh, I do start to forget things now, and I. I put it down to that four letter word, age. But I'm sorry about that. Uh, if, you, if you want to hear more of it, it is on my new CD uh, called Away to Tintinara. Um, I should be able to remember this one. Uh, it's called Exercise 77, and it was one of the most, if not the most beautiful of love songs written by Graham Miles. And seeing as it has recently been St. Valentine's Day, uh, it seems an appropriate song to sing. And uh, for me, it's St. Valentine's Day every day with my lovely wife and our lovely family. So, Exercise 77. You are the light, silver light of dawn. You are the song, the song the linnet sings. You are the sun, the sun that makes me warm. You are my morning, you are my morning. You are my morning. Oh, yes, you are. You are my morning. Oh, yes, you are. You are the dove, the dove that brings me peace. 
You are the rain, the rain that cools my cheek. You are the wind, wind that suits my brow. You are my comfort. You You are my comfort, oh yes you are, you are my comfort, oh yes you You are the air in every breath I breathe. You are the thought that never leaves my mind. You are the power that makes my heart to beat. You are my life. You are my life. You are my life. Oh, Yes, you are, and you're my morning, and you're my comfort, and you're my love. Oh, yes, you are. Exercise 77 by Graham Miles. Um, so I'm going to sing another song now, uh, recent, not recently written, but uh, just a few years ago written by a good friend, once again, Stan Graham. Stan has written some truly wonderful songs, and this particular one seems to be exactly the right song to sing. It's called Old Whitby Harbour, and uh, as I said earlier on, due to the uh, Eunice storm, um, we're not able to get up to Whitby, but we should have been doing this from Whitby. And I have a great memory of, of Whitby. Uh, Danny and I used to stay with a lovely Molly Grove, who's sadly no longer with us. Lovely lady. And she actually advised Stan a bit on writing this song, Old Whitby Harbour, with certain things about it. And uh, I can remember so well standing at Whitby. Those of you who've been to Whitby, you probably know this, the jaws of a whale at the top of a hill. And I remember standing there on the mobile phone talking to Andrew Patterson, who was uh, an agent, a good friend and agent, uh, uh, organising tours in Australia for us. And standing there talking to Andrew in Australia, near Melbourne, and uh, looking down at the sea, and there seeing a, a replica of the Endeavour, which is what Captain Cook set out to sail to discover Australia on back in the what, 1770s. And there I was standing in Whitby looking down at the endeavour. So, stand song, Old Whitby Harbour. Blow the north wind, cross Old Whitby Harbour. Tether the bone from the oncoming storm. Bright is the light, shines on the waters, calls from the time, keeping families warm. Ghosts of old sailors on windswept old whalers, finding safe harbour 
from Greenland's cold shore. Young boys are racing to pull down the ribbons, head for the straits to go whaling once more. Build me a ship to sail across oceans. Give me fair wind, I'll answer the call. Further than any man ever before me. South to Australia, round the Cape Horn. Sailors beware, red skies of morning. Unless you're willing, high price you pay. Strong arms are waiting, all for a shilling. King George's Navy take you away. Build me a ship to sail across oceans. Give me fair wind, I'll answer the call. Further than any man ever before me. South to Australia, around the Cape Horn. Old with the jet sails through the darkness. Three thousand gallons are deep in a hole. Bound for the markets, houses of Church Street. Gin, rum and tea to be traded for gold. Build me a ship to sail across oceans. Give me fair wind, I'll answer the call. Further than any man ever before me. South to Australia, round the Cape Horn. Blow the north wind, cross old with the harbor. Captain James Cook has withered the storm. Young men of Whitby sailed on the endeavor. South to Australia, around the Cape Horn. Build me a ship to sail across oceans. Give me fair wind, I'll answer the call. Further than any man ever before me. South to Australia, around the Cape Horn. Sing it one more time. Build me a ship to sail across oceans. Give me fair wind, I'll answer the call. Further than any man ever before me. South to Australia and round the Cape Horn. Great song, Stan. Stan Graham's song, well written. Good luck. Well, we're coming towards the end of this session. Um, and believe it or not, there's another Graham Miles song on the cards. Uh, this one he wrote in the mid 1950s. And uh, it's a remarkable song, I think. It's called My El Dorado. And uh, I think that. The particular verse in it, uh, the terrace streets were my Grand Canyon, shipyard cranes were my redwood trees, steelworks tips were my mountain ranges, the brickyard ponds were my seven seas. Graham never travelled anywhere and he had these images of these places and uh, that comes into this, that particular verse, absolutely brilliant. So 
um, do sing this. The chorus goes, uh, I never found my El Dorado, never walked down silver sands, never saw those gold pagodas, nor held a sunrise in my hand, but I just dream and dream and dream, and I just dream and dream and dream. <laughs> I had my hopes, as we all have hopes, all for what I be, and for what I do. But as my youth soon bloomed and faded, so my dreams they vanish too. I never found my elder never walked down silver sands, never saw those gold pagodas, nor held the sunrise in my hand. But I just dream and dream and dream, and I just dream and dream and dream. I was just a kid, just a scruffy kid, but I held the world in my grubby hand. But then the world just turned to water and ran through my fingers onto the sand. I never found my Eldorado, never walked down silver sands, never saw those gold pagodas, nor held a sunrise in my hand. But I just dream and dream and dream, and I just dream and dream and dream. The terrace streets were my grand canyon. The shipyard cranes were my redwood trees. The steelworks tips were my mountain ranges and the brickyard ponds were my seven seas. I never found my Eldorado, never walked down silver sands, never saw those gold pagodas, nor held a sun but I just dream and dream and dream and I just dream and dream and dream the public bar was full of sailors 
colors they laughed they sang they told their tales but i just found the darkest corner put down my glass then walked away I never found my elder never walked down silver sands, never saw those gold pagodas, nor held a sunrise in my hand. But I just dream and dream and dream and I just dream and dream and dream and I just dream another dream. and uh, such a wonderful song. Every song I sing, I always made it a pact when I first started that I would only ever sing the songs that I liked and really meant something to me. And every time I sing, although I do forget some of them because I get so involved in the song, the story, what's going on. And I always think in that particular one, a few years ago, I did a tour in, in America. Mike Dinsmore did the, organize the, the tour for me. And at that time, I think it was Northwest Airlines for $300, you could fly right round America. You couldn't go backwards and forwards. You had to keep going in one direction. And Mike, uh, in 30 days, I think I had 30 bookings uh, in different places around America. And he found one particular play, uh, venue in El Dorado in Kansas. So I sang in El Dorado and at the end of the concert, they presented me with a town flag, the El Dorado town flag, which I still have, and it's a prized possession. Okay, that's it for this uh, session, and uh, I've really enjoyed, I'm sorry about all the mistakes I made, but as I say, I get so involved in the song and different things happen uh, in my brain, you know, suddenly remember something about the song, and but it's been a real joy, and I do thank you for all of you for being there. And I'd just like to call my lovely wife. Are you there? Yes. She's going to just come and say hello to you. She's been oh. my technical assistant. And uh, so this is my lovely Danny. Hello. Hello. So, hello, 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 hello. <laughs> and that is the settle that we steal all the songs from the settle on. So. On his YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that is. So uh, anyway, thank you so much. And uh, wish you all peace, love and happiness.